released two records um, pushing a positive message about bullying and about fatherhood. But you also right. have a book out. You're an author. And that book is called The Truth You Can't Betray. You're pushing more of a positive message. Tell us about the book, The Truth You Can't Betray. Man, The Truth You Can't Betray, man, is pretty, in the creative way, like I'm talking to you right now, I wanted to write a book just for young people and adults to just be inspired. That's the whole meaning of it. Because the book, you know, it's like it's not like I was like, yo, I'm going to just be this author to write all these crazy type of books. And, you know, I'm going to have words in there you can't understand. I wrote this book in a conversational way to say, okay, this is what I, this is where Trey Chaney came from. This is how I grew up. And Forestville Mullen. I'm going to share stories about when I was on Apollo and Puff Daddy was walking backstage with, with business cards before Bad Boy blew up. I'm going to share inf true information and, you know, about my life and some of the challenges that I had to face after I got on the wire and, you know, blowing money and, and how, you know, just, you know, one of my friends was, was, was murdered, you know what I'm saying, and how I dealt with that. And, and the reason why I call it the truth you can't betray is because, you know, everything in the book is the truth. But when you think about the word betray, it's like turn your back on or go against. So everything about my life was the truth, and I can't turn my back on it. I can't, I can't sit up here and say, well, uh, I, I regret telling the world, you know, that I slipped up, you know, a couple times with, 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 a, with a young lady, you know, while I was – experiencing the fame of the wire. I slipped up a couple times and this young lady was pregnant, but, you know, she, she lost the baby or, you know, things of that nature. I mean, I can't, I can't turn my back on these real-life issues. So the truth you can't betray, man, just like I'm talking to you now, that's what it is. It's a conversation piece to me. People are like, yo, your book is, is great. And, you know, it, and the, and the good part about it is the book was accepted in the Prince George County Library Memorial System. You know, so now you got young people like, yeah, I just rented your book out of the library today. I mean, you, it's stuff like that that, and I don't, I don't like plan this stuff. It just happens, you know, but I know people love reality. You know what I'm saying? So right. why not give you reality in whether it's me writing a book? Why not give you reality whether it's me writing a record? You, you're just going to get this type of knowledge from me. Now, with, with fatherhood, with Mike Bully, with your book, how is the overall response being from this positive push? Because you know people, they thrive on negativity. They yeah. thrive on the bad stuff. You know the, the bad messages that you're pushing a new, another message. You know, yeah, it's um. What, go ahead. No, I was, gonna, I was just saying, what's what's the overall response been? How are the people receiving? this positive message that you're presenting to them through videos, through music, and through your yeah. book. You know what, man? It, it started off, to me, to be honest with you, as a challenge. But now, like, okay, I said, you know, it started off when I first put out the first record and video father last year. Like you said, people thrive off of negativity. But what I learned in this business, if you stay consistent and you stick to putting stuff out, eventually they're going to get it. And I think that's what's starting to happen now. I mean, we're talking about three videos on MTV. I'm not signed to no record label within a year, within three months back to back. Two of those videos, 106 in part last year, and I got eight videos in all. So you got five of them that's getting national attention. I'm getting talked about in the media, you know. And now, that's why I said Things start off as a challenge, but the overall point, I'm looking at it like, man, God, I'm in, I'm in God's hands now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm getting, things is working out for me, man, because I'm staying consistent, and I'm, and I'm, I'm persistent. I'm, you, you would think I was signed to a label, man. You know, it's most cats out here that don't got eight videos because they can't do them. They're under, right. they're under a label's direction that tells them what to do. Me, I'm doing what I got to do, and I'm building up, you know, I'm building my fan base up. I mean, I'm, I'm doing, I'm touring just like you would hear a mainstream artist touring, man. I'm doing like, like 30, 40 shows, you know what I'm saying, like within two, three months. And these are schools, 
these are outside gigs. I mean, so it's it's just an experience for me to to do this because I'm like, man, I remember when nobody wanted to listen to fatherhood. I remember when cats ain't want to listen to a record like Radical Readers, but the whole time, um, you know, I'm asking one question. I'm like, well, for for, for instance, fatherhood, do you have a child? If you got a child and you can't feel that, something up with you. Right. If, you can't, <laughs> yeah. if, you can't, if you can't feel a record like that, I, I mean, no, nah, I'm not, you know, I'm not Jay-Z, Kanye, Puffy, but at the same time, I'm giving it to you from my experience. If you can't feel that, I don't know, what's, if you can't feel radical readers about your kid getting the education and reading at least 30 minutes a day, something's wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's why, you know, what I'm on, that's what I'm on. I'm, I'm on putting out real music. I mean, that's the, that's the real music. You know, and then I just dropped Live World AIDS Anthem. We're trying to get people to get tested, know your status. Who can't feel this? <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? Well, that's because, you know, in, in especially in hip-hop, there has been one message and one agenda that has been pushed throughout the last 20, 30 years for a particular reason. But, you know, people are starting to bring back uh, real hip-hop. They're starting to bring back uh, songs other than about, you know, drugs and, and sex and money. And, you know, it's, it's starting to shift again. You know, history right. does have a way of repeating itself. So, you know, I think people will start to appreciate uh, songs like Fatherhood again. You know, they'll start appreciating stuff like, yeah. you know, when Pac brought out Brenda's Got a Baby and Keep Your Head Up, those type of records We'll start getting that appreciation again. Yeah, and they, and I you put know. it this way: if they don't, Trey Cheney gonna be right there to, to throw it in their face. Congratulations, man! Congratulations to everything. Um, you know, give give the people your social media and your official websites so they can log on right now. Not now, but right now. Okay, man. My website is mrtreycheney.com. It's M R. T R A Y C H A N E Y dot com. My Twitter handle is at Trey Cheney. Uh, my Instagram is Mr. Trey Cheney. And then you can look me up on Facebook by just typing in Trey Cheney. All my stuff will come up. You know, so Listen. yeah, man. Go ahead. No, nah, y'all hit me up. You know, I'm always on online. I'm always responding to the fans, to the people. I'm always ready to engage in conversation. I mean, I'm, I'm out here. And if you're and if you're listening to this entire interview and if you've heard everything that's been said and you're still asking yourself, who is this guy again? This is Trey from The Wire. Okay, <laughs> look up Trey Chain from The Wire. His uh, character name was Poot, all right? You should know that if you watch The Wire. Now, yes. his, uh, lastly, is there a message that you want to get out to the people, uh, whether it be the youth or just uh, the people in general? Man, people in general, man, my message is, man, continue to build, continue to build each other up. We got too much negativity going out here in the world, and we need more positive energy amongst the youth as well as adults. You know, we need to continue to build each other up. We need to continue to motivate and inspire each other to do better. You know, that that's that's my message right there. Just in, in anything you do, do better, be the best at anything you do, achieve, follow your dreams, you know, I can't stress that enough because I'm still I'm still following mine. You know, I mean, anytime somebody tells you no, always turn that joint into a yes. You know what I'm saying? That that that's my whole overall message. Well, right there, Mr. Trey Chaney dot com, dot com, man. We want to thank you for coming on the show. Appreciate everything that you said, man. I'm pretty sure that the people and the youth will appreciate it as well. Continue to keep moving. We're going to continue to push the videos for you. If you have not seen Fatherhood, go on my Twitter. It is right there at Taj Longino. Also, Mike Bully. This is for all the kids out there who are dealing with a bully situation. Check out this song and this video right there on my Twitter page. It's posted right now. Go there and check it out. Trey, man, appreciate you, man. You take care. And we're going to get up yeah, on Twitter, bro. Yeah, definitely, man. I, I, I definitely got... Um, just tell you, man, I really appreciate you having me on, you know. I mean, anytime I'm able to get my message out with the people, man, I'm ready to, you know, I'm ready to do that, and you gave me an opportunity. Man, I, well, you know what? I definitely appreciate you 
uh, taking some time out. We've been on the call for we've been on this on this show for quite some time, and you know most people, <laughs> some celebrities are so busy they only got a few minutes. But we actually got a lot in today, and we want to thank you again for coming on the show. Um, yeah, come back that, yeah. whenever you got something you want you know get across to the people. Just come on back anytime, man. More than welcome. Thanks again, man. Appreciate it. No problem. Take care, man. Talkwithtaj.com. We out.